Hello walkers and welcome back to City Walks. Uh, I took a week off, not from posting, but from filming uh, to do some family stuff, but I'm back. And my name is Henry. I will be your proxy walker this morning, your virtual travel guide as we explore. Um, morning. The exponentially growing, or had, at least in the past, city of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a little bit here and share some personal stories about North Carolina. Uh, but first, I just want to let you know, City Walks is kind of a place or a channel where we... Uh, it's, it's a virtual travel, a treadmill travel channel where we kind of just wander around and explore. I often don't know a huge amount of detail about these places and we just wander about and discover and let things delight us as we go. Uh, I will be narrating as we go. Look at these great uh, stone sculptures here. We've got a fox over to the left. <clears throat> and we've got this rabbit, which I think is awesome, made into benches. I assume that's actual stone. It looks a little bit like it could be cement or faux stone. That's another point for me to make here. Um, this is First Ward Park, by the way. I often get, I'm easily distracted by these things that I see and notice and want to share with you guys. So be prepared for that. It is 8 a.m. in the morning, early December, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, five degrees Celsius. And it was raining earlier, but I think it's gonna clear up. Well, maybe not clear up, but it's gonna stop raining. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a trail end of a cold here. Uh, and here we go. Look, Google offices. Um, what can I tell you? Oh yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. That does help me out. Uh, tells Google and YouTube, hey, this channel's worth sharing. Crossover 7th here. Um, and I'll be calling out, uh, assuming I remember, various street corners and intersections. <clears throat> to help people that follow along on the map, map do so. Um, I believe this is um, a science discovery center. They call it Imaginon. It was part of the library. Um, I, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a little bit. You got a 7th Street Station parking garage. They do have the metro here. I don't know much about that, but it seems to be getting a lot of use. Seems pretty modern. I'm pretty stoked about that. Love to see good commuter options. <clears throat> I'll wait till the tracks lift here before I uh, Oh yeah, 884,000 people in the city and 2.8 in the metro area from 2004 to 2014. It was the fastest growing metro area in the country, I think. <clears throat> and uh, it is 16th largest in the country. It has exploded since I lived in North Carolina. Um, what else? Cool. I'll ask you to subscribe, like, oh, comment. Please comment on these videos. Um, let me know your thoughts, your corrections, your suggestions, your additions. That's, I love interacting with you guys in the comments section. Um, awesome. So we're continuing up 7th here. I don't know exactly how we're going to, how this walk is going to unfold. I believe this is the museum of something. Museum of the New South. Okay. <clears throat> um, so we're just going to go. And uh, 884, 2.8. Um, it's kind of a financial center and transportation center for the region. Right on the border of, well, not right on the border, but pretty close to the border of South Carolina. Um, 
in the Piedmont region, which uh, I, I grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina, so I'll be sharing some uh, personal remembrances as we go. Hope that's okay. Here is, as we are on North College, part of the heft of downtown. Keep going. Um, the grid is on a, on a diagonal. It's not north-south, but diagonally laid out, which is similar to Livingston, and I find incredibly confusing when I'm <laughs> describing uh, directions. One of the things I'm liking about this place is, uh, and I haven't spent any time here uh, to speak of, I've been through, but I love that they have these super modern buildings, but they still have the trees. I think that's fantastic. And it just makes a place, well, it makes it cooler, scientifically speaking. It cools um, a city in urban spaces. It makes it, uh, it cleans the air and it makes it uh, just more pleasant. Something about our atavistic uh, memories, I think, craves the bit of nature as we go. Um, North Tryon. Tryon's a name. I think he was a governor in the colonial period. There's a <coughs> Tryon Palace we, we would go to as a field trip as kids. Um, Wilmington's out on the coast. I'll be walking there another day uh, or two. So check out that. Um, so one of the things I want to tell you, <laughs> one of my memories of Charlotte, my few memories of Charlotte, was when I was young, I don't know, maybe uh, 12 years old, 11 years old, uh, my dad had to come over here for some purpose. This is North Tryon and 7th. Um, so we did this big road trip. Back then, I-40 didn't go all the way to the coast like it does now. And um, so we loaded up in the van early morning and we were going to go to a theme park here called Carowinds. Um, and we got up here and Carowinds was closed. But on the way, because we left early, early morning, uh, like 5 a.m., it was dark. And we all loaded up in the van, a couple of buddies of mine, my sister, etc. <clears throat> and uh, like a 10 or 11 year old kid is wont to do, I didn't bother to actually bring my shoes. So we stopped on the way here and uh, at a shoe store, pick and pay or some chain, and they had on the wall the first. Air Jordans for the grand princely sum of $70, which was ridiculous for shoes back then. Um, and this they were a big deal there, but I think they're kind of the shoes that kicked off the sneakerhead culture, right? This whole trend of these fancy, highly designed, etc., sports shoes. And I chose not to get them. I had shoes at home and they were expensive and I wanted them. And uh, <clears throat> first edition Jordans, uh, I mean, I would have just worn them into shreds, but uh, the idea of having those is a great, great memory. Um, getting into kind of a residential area, which is kind of cool. Um, anywho, uh, we continued on to Charlotte, and Carowinds was closed. We didn't actually, I guess, plan ahead for that. Um, so we, as a as a pivot, we uh, we were light there on the camera. Uh, <clears throat> we went to the Science Discovery Center, a little mural, um, which was awesome. I hope I'm recording this. I'm getting a weird flashing light on the camera. Um, and it was so cool, guys. We just 
all these sort of interactive science things, which is, these interactive science museums are kind of common now, but at the time, it was pretty special and different. We're on North Church. There. We're gonna head for this away. I'm actually gonna stop the camera for a second to check out this light. Alright, hopefully it's just normal functionality. Never really noticed it before. Um, and they had like static electricity and fluid dynamics and all these cool things. And I still remember that. We eventually made it to Carowinds another time, but um, such a cool uh, thing to think I had my, I was so close to getting Air Jordan, the first Air Jordans. Uh, and I'm not at all a shoe person, but I don't know, it's kind of a neat memory. We came up another time on a school trip and did a camping thing and went to Carowinds and something, did some historical tours and that sort of thing. Back then it was like a, I want to say a six hour drive. Now I think it's three. It probably wasn't six. Everything seems longer when you're a kid. Interesting building. I don't know what this is. It looks very institutional. And I'm kind of digging it. We've got these old, a couple of old houses here that have hung out. I kind of actually <clears throat> want to go down this little walkway. You know what? We're not going to do that. Sorry. This is one of those moments of indecision. This is 8th that we're on, West 8th. This is leafy, green, and pleasant in here. I think it might be a church. <clears throat> First Methodist Church. That is a big Methodist church. I'll try and cross over to give a better look. It's a whole block. I don't think I've ever seen a Methodist church like that. That's pretty though. Uh, we're back on North Tryon here. We're just going to head back towards downtown. Ooh, okay, so this is a little tidbit I learned from reading the Wikipedia article. You can see that this is uh, the Charlotte Hornets, which is, I think, the basketball team. They also have the Charlotte Panthers, which is the NFL team, which is American football. <clears throat> and uh, that name comes from history. So... Charlotte was founded back in 1755 time. It's uh, now part of Mecl Mecklenburg um, County. And Mecklenburg was, or claims, the first declaration of independence with the Mecklenburg Declaration, or Mecklenburg Declaration 
or Mecklenburg Courthouse Declaration, I think it is, went in 1765, and it wasn't a true Declaration of Independence, but uh, pretty close. So anyway, <clears throat> later in the war, when Lord Cornwallis was rolling through here with his army, <clears throat> he declared that this area was a hornet's nest of rebellion. Uh, which I think is good. I didn't know that until I'd read the description. The, the NBA team, I think, post-dated my departure from North Carolina. Um, I'm coming up on 7th. It's also known as Queen City. So you'll see a lot of these crowns um, on the, or iconography of crowns in city signs, etc. Um, Duckworth's Grill and Tap House. That looks like a pretty cool place to hang out. Because it was named for Queen Charlotte, who was, or not Queen, but Queen, the Royal Consort. Um, cross here. Uh, of the King George, maybe? <clears throat> or, yeah, probably George. Um, anyway, she was of German descent, one of those principalities that I can't quite remember the name of. There's Spirit Square. It's like a old temple or theater. It's like an open theater now. You can see these massive tall skyscrapers and more going in. There's a lot of work going on down here. Oh, here's a Discovery Place Science Center. I think this is where we came. Or some iteration of it. Reflectors are kind of cool, they're fun. Coming up on Dunhill, which I'm guessing is a hotel. But maybe it's an apartment complex? Let me know in the comments below if you know. Coming up on 6th. Super misty and foggy this morning. I think I'm going to go left on 6th. We'll kind of wind our way around that way. Over here is behind the ink. I don't know if that's a display, a museum, or something else. Maybe we'll get a better view as we go. Looking down North Tryon towards downtown. I kind of like this truest building here. Oh, quite nice. um, it's new, but it's got that. Um, I don't. Again, I don't really know the description of it. Um, oh, I think this is the library. That's cool. Um, but uh, we got those little prongs out, and the stonework is sort of Art Deco-ish but pointier. Does that make sense? This is a Charlotte County Library. Charlotte Public Library of Mecklen Mecklenburg County. And I don't know the origin of Mecklenburg. that jank hammer as much as possible. Get a better look at that. Of the library.
this is more downtown. I think this is college, but I'm not sure. It is, North College. Kind of see what I mean about these trees down here in with these massive buildings. It just changes the dynamic. It goes from sterile and lifeless, not really lifeless, but sterile and synthetic to so much more organic. We've got the Holiday Inn to our left here. Lots of uh, hotels, parking garages, restaurants, all that fun stuff. Um, down here, Fitzgerald's. Well, this is part of Wake Forest University, the Charlotte Center. Wake Forest is over by Raleigh, I think, the university. <clears throat> uh, I guess I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut down, actually, even though What's down there? <clears throat> oh, we'll show you the sports center. This is College and Fifth. I see a lot of skywalks. Um, I think of those as being uh, crossing. Screw it. Um, more in these cold places but I think they're a great way to get people up off the street away from the cars and the traffic um, just create another uh, lane for mobility moving people around <clears throat> and it keeps people out of the weather and it can get pretty hot here and muggy so you know we are oh yeah and we are in the, the south um, the Piedmont region, which is the region between the mountains and the coastal plain. If you know French, or maybe Latin, uh, it probably is like, of course that's what you would call it. I grew up going to school, learning about the geography of North Carolina, learning about the history and science, etc. I had no idea. I didn't even put the, that together. So Pied P-I-E-D for foot and Mont for mountain. So basically foothills uh, or the foot of the mountains. No clue. Had just thought it was an interesting word. <laughs> it's funny how uh, we can go through life without really uh, understanding certain things or picking up on certain things. It... Uh, it's a good reason, or a good example of why we should question more. This is the Spectrum Center, and uh, I think they're testing this over here. This is where the Hornets play, I believe. We're gonna go up here, here's the, one of the train stations. It's pretty modern and nice. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. And maybe we'll drop down and see what this other building is, this sort of Half cylinder, I would call it a Quonset hut style, but I think there's probably another term for it. <clears throat> this is, in large ways, a classic city in that uh, it has this locus of downtown activity. Uh, let me record classic American city. And then it's got these expansive suburbs and exurbs, these uh, neighborhoods and residential neighborhoods, and then even other cities that basically serve as suburbs, but they're independent 
of Charlotte itself. We're going to cross over the railroad tracks here. Make our way back down and across the street. Here's Spring Hill Suites. Straight ahead, that sort of angular building is kind of nice looking. A little different. I love sort of classic architecture, the classic old buildings, but I do like the modern stuff too when it's well done. <clears throat> well, no skateboard. This is probably not supposed to do this, but the heart wants what the heart wants. So we'll go down anyway. Kind of hustle our way off. Oh, this must be a bus depot. It looked enclosed. And so I thought maybe it was another arena or something similar. Oh, I can go this way. These are kind of cool little. You can see the mist and, well, that's just steam, but the buildings there. the bus station. <clears throat> Confederate Navy Yard. Uh, that is a long way from the coast, but I guess they were just producing ordnance. <clears throat> also across here. It's huh, a sizable uh, gold gym. <laughs> looks like Howl at the Moon. This looks like an entertainment area, which makes sense being so close to the arena. I think we're on fifth or sixth here. Like it might be a hotel on the right. The Ritz Carlton. <coughs> Pardon me. There's the Omni Hotel across the way as well. Crossing North College again. Again, we're just gonna wind our way around, exploring. Places. There's the Tucson Grill. <clears throat> I'm really impressed with these trees down here. I love it. Getting up into a little public park up here, lit up for Christmas. These bus stops too, kind of Parisian looking, turn of the century looking. <clears throat> this one, once you get close, maybe not so much. Wow, big buildings. I always feel like a bit of a country mouse. Not always, but certainly on this trip. Coming to these big down air, town areas, gaping up at the tops of these buildings. <clears throat> this is the Marriott up on the right. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at this tree. This is the Bank of America building. That's a big, uh, uh, big company here. I don't think that's an actual tree, but it's pretty. This is Tryon and West Trade is what we were on. To see these statues here. So this is a modern building, relatively new. No idea how old it is, but I like the street level. Uh, <clears throat> it's kind of that art deco style again. It's pretty cool. It's sort of brass or whatever it is, metallic window uh, street level treatment. trying to wind around and make room for other people. Grand Bohemian. Looks a little bit like it belongs in uh, Vegas. Those, with the grandiosity of it. This is South Church Street. I assume named for that church which is First Presbyterian. I kind of wonder the value of that property, and I, I'm not in any way criticizing, but it must be tempting for the church, uh, these churches to give up a city block in Charlotte, North Carolina, the monetary exchange there would be significant. <clears throat> Weekly services. I don't wonder where everybody parks, but maybe it's not so... Uh, <clears throat> maybe it's not so busy on a Sunday morning. We'll go down here another block and loop around. See some of the residential towers. Like. <clears throat> well, look over to our left, there's kind of a break and see the clouds kind of coming in, obscuring the tops of buildings. It's wild. All right, coming up on North Poplar.
cross trade here. We'll look back and show you a wider view of downtown. Get out of the way of these folks. As we make our way down South Poplar. get a glimpse of the stadium. We're going to check that out later. Off to the right here looks like an official building of some sort. Not sure what that is. People going in through security. West 4th. curious as to how far out those trains go. <clears throat> it's a great service. up on South Church here. see bike lanes here. First Citizens Bank building. Scale chain of seafood and steaks, as it says. On the window there. I'm not 
actually going to make a left here. Ooh, Chima, Brazilian Steakhouse. I don't know if you've ever been to a Brazilian Steakhouse, but I think it's kind of where they roast meats on these sticks, these steaks, these big kebabs, and they come around and then they shave it off, give you cuts directly from the... They come by the table with this big thing of meat, <clears throat> shave it off onto the plate for you. Tupelo Honey Southern Kitchen Bar. That looks like it could be good too. This is a cool old building. Love it. Part of the Chase Bank, I guess. I wanted to come back and uh, check out this park, which is, I guess, maybe Tryon Plaza. And see these sculptures again, they're pretty cool. On West Trade and South Tryon. Sort of the center, I guess, the locus or center of the of mass of the city, or histor historical center. No, but we're going to end this walk here. I'm going to do another walk in just a few minutes. I'm going to tie my shoe, check out whether this camera is malfunctioning or not, and then uh, you can see the North Carolina flag up there too. Um, and then we'll start another walk, and we'll end up over, or at least we'll cover a little bit of. Uh, the stadiums and I saw a baseball field over there too so I'm going to figure out what the story on that is. So thank you guys for joining us here in Charlotte, North Carolina on a misty morning uh, in December and we will see you again soon. Until then, keep on stepping.